I don't know. We'll see. I like that record right there. That one was called Boys to Men. And uh, you're checking out Sunday nice Sound Session, DJ Hyphen. Jay Moore. And our special guest, Rockwell Powers. What up? From yeah. Tacoma. So, man, let's talk about this project. Let's do it. You and DJ Finnessy are putting uh -huh. together. It's called Build, right? Yeah. What's uh, the reason behind the name? Um, the reason behind the name just kind of comes from this. I hope this doesn't come out corny, but just a lot of the stuff that I'm involved in with the community, just kind of working on, on art stuff and, and being around a lot of people who are trying to put together a lot of things with youth programming and, and arts. And I, I had to step away from music for a couple years, ran a couple uh, political campaigns in Tacoma, and just uh, just trying to you know keep it authentic with, with the hip hop and just write about the stuff that I'm surrounded by. And I don't really hang out with a lot of rappers and, and stuff anymore, and I still felt the drive to make this music, but the folks who I'm surrounded by, um, shout to Corbett, good example, this guy who's here with me today, are folks who are who are doing community work. And so that's sort of where the album concept came from. And then there's there's some hip hop concepts and other concepts in there that were incorporated into that, but that's where the concept came uh, from the album. What made you want to do a whole project with Finnessy? Um, Finnessy, just Finnessy and I have been uh, really close friends since 2007, where we met um, in the dorms at PLU, Pacific Lutheran. I also met Grinch in the dorms at PLU that year. <laughs> Shout out to Grinch. Oh, that's um, right. I, Grinch did go there, huh? Uh, okay, and uh, and uh, um, just, we've been doing music since then. Uh, he only was there for a year, then he went to audio production school and came back and opened his studio. and. I introduced him to a bunch of people who have been his clients for a long time now, and we've just been building, 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 put out an EP years ago. It just kind of, the time seemed right right to do it, and I was just collecting beats from him, and, and kind of my schedule freed up to where I had the mental space and the time to, to sit and write music that I liked and that I thought was worth putting out, and it just kind of came together. If you together. could do another project with any other producer, just one producer and you, who would it be? So you're talking about just the whole, like, anybody any, any, in the, yeah, any, in the this, world. Yeah, another producer. Um, <clears throat> like your dream partnership. Um, the, the My historical answer to that question is, <laughs> is high tech. Yeah. And my current answer, would, I think Jay Cole is actually probably one of my favorite producers right oh, no. right now. Just okay. the way he puts together the beats that are just so perfect what, for what he's doing. Yeah. Um, so he's actually made some of my favorite beats for the last year or two. That's cool. right. Uh, nice. Well, let's get into this record. This one's called Alive. What's the backstory behind this one? Um, this is a song that is just probably one of the more um, kind of feel-good songs of the record, but a song that is just kind of about being an individual and just kind of, you know, just kind of being comfortable with, with who you are and, and a song that is hopefully will just come off as just encouraging and, and empowering. And it's one of the more kind of conscious songs in the album, but a song that we really like, each DJ and I. He, and he sings on the hook as well. And he mixed and speaking of mixing and mastering, yeah. he mixed it mixed and mastered the entire project and that's a strong suit of his. And so we think this out the song in particular sounds really good. Here you go. World premiere, Rockwell Powers and DJ Fantasy Live Sound Session. Uh -huh. 